What's good everybody, it's Batman, and we're over here doing a video reaction on some Naruto, and it's a video that really intrigues me, the title of it, and it's our boy Six, if you guys don't know who he is, make sure to check him out, uh, if you like his content and you enjoy it, subscribe, follow, all the nine yards, you name it, do what you gotta do, um, help our boy out, um, but yeah, so he has a, a video called Ultra Instinct, Naruto, and uh, mind you, I don't really know too much about Dragon Ball, per se, like, I've seen Dragon Ball Z and everything, you know, I, I know it's certain degrees, but I don't know it, like, nowhere to the extent of Naruto. Um, so, he's going to be mainly doing a lot of the teaching on this one for me. Um, but it's an interesting concept, because I have seen Ultra Instinct, at least in the anime, um, and I've seen all that, and it was really, really freaking cool to me. Um, my memory is not too, too great on that, unfortunately. I would have to do some, you know, homework and whatnot to kind of get familiar with it again, but I did see all of it. It was a while ago. I think it was like maybe a couple years ago actually when I saw it. Um, so, but yeah, I'm curious. We're going to check this video out. It's only 18 minutes long, not too bad. Um, and uh, we're going to get into it. So, yeah, let's do it. And fuck the app. We don't need no damn app. Inappropriate. Absolutely inappropriate. Here we are at some random courtroom in the middle of nowhere for a sentencing hearing. Sitting what? in the middle is a famous YouTuber, Six who is awaiting sentencing for two charges. One being entering a forbidden temple and another for logging into Naruto online without parents' permission. All right, court huh? is now in session. Well, what is the happening right judge now? <laughs> is Judge Drock 34,000. Please go subscribe to him on youtube.com slash Drock 34,000. Okay here, um, Mr. Six, is that, is that your name? Um, is that really, is that really your name? Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna call you. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna call you. Mr. What is happening here, bro? Somebody needs to let me know what's uh, okay. happening. <laughs> so it seems here that you're I don't know what the fuck's happening. Now we're in the jungle. In temple to retrieve the question: If Naruto and Sasuke are nerfed? Um. Uh. Okay. I, I don't. I, I really don't know why you really need to go to a temple to get that info. But uh, anywho. Um, what is your reason for this, Mr. Six? As Judge Drock asks him the question, the unthinkable happens. Six pulls out a cassette tape, and the music he plays and what he does next will shock you. Aside from Baryon mode, Ultra Instinct has to be... was that bro like <laughs> i don't i don't even know what to say on that to be honest with you i don't know <laughs> that was reminding me of like the previous video we watched and it was fucking seth the programmer just kind of this roasting six is shit for some reason okay <laughs> bro the best transformation release in anime within the past five years you may be able to have some lunch table type argument with your friend about which of these two is better and have mr billy the contrary and bring up how i think zeke's beast titan is actually the best transformation in anime but in terms of status we all know when it comes to hype these two forms are on top i was doing some research for a video on haku and while rereading the chapter i've not seen boruto yet so i've heard a lot of good about it i haven't at least towards the end Okay, let's put it that way. But, you know, I'm be real with him. Ultra Instinct, Goku, that shit was fire. <laughs> like, when that happened, I was like, oh shit. Because Goku's always with his damn fucking transformations. I came across a line from Sasuke that he speaks to Naruto after saving him from a needle assault from Haku that his body just sort of moved on its own. And obviously, this sounds a lot like Ultra Instinct. So I got to thinking, what if Ultra Instinct was actually in Naruto? Now, as far as I can tell, this is the only sort of mention in the entire manga of someone's body moving on its own, and Naruto has made no attempts at implementing something like this into a taijutsu, even like a weird sage mode frog technique or six pass power. So I picked a few characters to have Ultra Instinct in the Naruto verse, those I thought it would fit best, and those I thought it wouldn't fit all that well. Yeah, he, he basically he's not wrong. So, because like the only closest adaptations we really see with that is like. I guess you can say Sage Mode, unless I'm capping and missing out on something else. Um, but either way, it's not the same because Sage Mode just allows you to kind of see the attack and perceive it. You know, sensory ability is kind of like a spidey sense, if that makes sense. Um, you know, but they're still moving their own body. It's not like it's just doing it for them. Like the automatic is the sensory and all that and everything. But, 
you know, so I guess that could be maybe, but yeah, it's no, no, he, he basically nailed it. So, and that's what I'm going to be going over today. If this is something that interests you, you should obviously leave a like on the video and subscribe. I can't say I do videos of this nature often, but I can say there are a ton of other videos on my channel you may enjoy. So watch those after this one. For sure. Before we get into the specific characters, obviously we need a rundown of what Ultra Instinct actually is. And I'm talking about the original from Dragon Ball Super. The first appearance of this form was what? Well, hey, I'm gonna say this right now too. I, I love the dedication that he's doing. Like you could see a clear, like transformation of, of a difference of him clearly like either putting in time or whatever he's doing on the side. The video quality, production, all that has drastically gone up. I am very impressed. Which you don't, you know. I'll be honest. You don't always have to be on that line of scaling, you know, for entertainment purposes and whatnot to make it like oh, you always have to have, but. It does help. It is nice, and and it's something for me to acknowledge and put out there, at least in comparison with all his older videos. So, big difference. Almost five years ago in 2017, in episode now known on Dragon Ball Super, Goku tapped into what we now know is just the initial stage of Ultra Instinct, that being Ultra Instinct Sign or Omen. Now, yeah. for the Naruto transfer of this Jutsu, I'd figure I'd give this form A rank since it's mostly for defense and it's stated to have fairly lackluster offense and since jutsu ranks are for difficulty of mastery. Also with Ultra Instinct, especially in the Dragon Ball Super manga, being described more as a technique than a transformation, and Goku definitely has much more difficulty mastering Ultra Instinct than he does tapping into it, seeing as after six months of training with mirrors in a hyperbolic time chamber like room, he's only able to tap into the initial form and that's while training with someone who already has it and is guiding him through. Ultra Instinct at its base is extremely simple and an easy concept to grasp. It's essentially mastering self- Teach me, Six. Teach me. <laughs> that can get more accurate over time. Okay, so mastering self-movement that can get more accurate over time through training. Okay. Time through training. As we says with his Ultra Instinct, it's more accurate than Goku's is, and the Grand Priest has a better Ultra Instinct than both of them. The omen or sign form is catered more towards defense, but if you can tap into it at will like Goku, it can become pretty good offense. And the master variant is catered towards all your stats and will add a massive buff to you. Like Mira says, if Goku masters UI against Moro, despite him getting kicked around by Moro and UI omen, he would quote, not fall to anyone. Which you could then stretch to say like maybe Goku could be- It's a big statement. <laughs> but then they, <laughs> then again though, the qu you know, with these fucking statements and then you know how this goes and you got fucking- all kinds of like debaters and people like oh you know like oh, now he can just destroy anyone and it's just you know oh, well, i don't know all that but it is a big it is a big deal for its statement at least because now it's like all right well let's see the consistency let's see that the evidence in it being backed up along the way because if this is all we got then that kind of sucks you know but that's interesting it's great i don't know who moro is by the way don't get mad at me okay I have not been keeping up with Dragon Ball and all that. Um, and I, and as a matter of fact, bro, I, I got so much catching up. Out of all fucking animes, if I'm really being honest with you, is Dragon Ball. And I do have a separate channel that I'm eventually going to be posting um, content on. Um, it's just, um, I'll, I'll get into all that uh, maybe towards the end of this video. Um, but, um, you know, eventually I, I am going to be doing anime reaction videos. But that will be on my separate YouTube channel just to avoid, you know, copyright issues and all that, yada, yada. So it's going to be on Batruto and... Overall, like, something goes down on that, I don't care, whatever. If I lose it, I lose it. Um, but that's generally my animation, you know, anime reaction videos would be on that. And I will eventually cover Dragon Ball. Um, um, I'll probably do Dragon Ball, then Dragon Ball Z. Not the start of Dragon Ball Z. I need to go all the way to, like, the after the Cell Saga. Um, but you all are probably like, yo, what the fuck? Like, this guy, like, are you serious right now? Like, yes, I'm sorry, okay? Busy life, priorities, you name it haven't had the time you know i wish i fucking wish but um but i will eventually get there i promise you that but anyways we're getting a little bit of sidetrack let's get back to the video beers and mui but i don't want to spark a goku versus beers debate in the comments so i'll just move on from that the method of obtaining will stay the same for the naruto variant of ultra instinct like mirror says rage grief and joy are strong emotions that can lead to a crazy power up same as in Naruto, but you achieve Ultra Instinct when you achieve self-control in the face of a jarring shock to your emotions. This sort of thing is not common in Shinobi at all. In fact, Konoha sort of promotes Terry, the opposite out. way of thinking with the will of fire being a 
heavy emotion amp you get from wanting to protect the things precious True. to you. In statements from Harrison, like a shinobi's greatest strength emerges in the midst of a desperate battle, we get tons Absolutely. of examples of this being true, even though the statement is made all the way back. Naruto does it similar. countless of times, Minato, Harrison, so many people, fucking Sasuke, like, it happens so much. Mental amps or the Will of Fire amp, like, yeah, absolutely. Chapters of the manga, Naruto versus Gara. Naruto gets amped through his emotions twice yep. and gets See? massive amps to his chakra amount. Same against Neji, Sasuke, Deidara, Obito, Kaguya, etc., etc. Naruto and others get amps from their emotions. Yeah, I'll say not also just him. Things should be extremely hard to master for Shinobi, especially seasoned or older ones like Hokage, Naruto, Adult Sasuke, and any Shinobi with the Jonin rank or above. Since Jonin are supposed to be seasoned ninja of a certain skill, you can maybe apply this logic to a Chunin who's been a Chunin for the majority of his life like Iruka, or maybe a Tokubetsu Jonin like Anko or Ibiki, but that's not all too important. The closest I've found to someone getting close to the requirements of unlocking UI is Bariamo Naruto. In order to keep Bariamo going for as long as possible, Kurama tells Naruto not to make any unnecessary or wasted movements and rid himself of any superfluous thoughts. Superfluous meaning unnecessary, especially through more than enough. Obvi Obviously, for something like this to happen, there needs to be a teacher of some sorts to help out and tell Shinobi that there is a power like this. And the best yeah. choice I could think of for it is someone like Hagromo. The other teachers in the series just don't seem to be that good of a. To be honest, that makes a lot logical sense. Like you know that that that's a very good route to go. At least the most realistic or probable way about it of a what if scenario. So, not 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 really thinking about it. Imagine a what if like fucking series like if Kishimoto came down and said, you know what? I'm just gonna do a what if series for Naruto. That would be so fucking cool, bro I would actually probably prefer that over Boruto from what I've heard and seen Fit for a move like this like Jiraiya taught Naruto how to make a bigger Rasengan stated to make meteor like craters during their training Kakashi even lets his emotions get the better of him multiple times during the war arc and I'm not even going to get started on someone like Orochimaru. Obviously, he should never have Ultra Instinct in any time. Uh -huh. Plus, Ultra Instinct is quite literally called a technique of the gods. So, Hagoromo or some other Otsutsuki like yeah. being is definitely the best choice for it. But seeing as every other Otsutsuki is kind of evil and wants to drain the earth of all of its life. I don't think it'd be yeah. fitting for someone to learn from them. Naruto or Sasuke would probably just not want to use an ability that an evil Otsutsuki used or something like that. The yeah. other Otsutsuki also seem to give into their more powerful emotions quite easily, with the exception of maybe Ishiki. Kaguya gets extremely sad when holding Naruto and Sasuke's faces and seeing the faces of her children, even though they tried to kill her in the past. And after a quick recap by Zetsu, Kaguya clears up her tears and gets visibly angry and tells Naruto and Sasuke, who she calls Hagoromo and Hamura, that she detests them. Momoshiki seems yeah. to be extremely mad and or annoyed at all points in time. For what I can tell, there is no reason. And Kinshiki shares this quality, though his rage only seems to be because he's a brute who's constantly fighting. Sort of like Momoshiki's attack dog, if you will. This is the part where I would bring up Urashiki, but I realized I'd have to rewatch that time travel art to do so, and I really don't want to do that, so I'll leave that up to you. Kamiri's <laughs> whole plan is motivated by his emotions. He's like, fuck that. The dude was literally going to slam a moon into Earth because he didn't like the way it was, and he felt like it was Hammer's wish to do so. Oh yeah, that man was crazy. Bro, he, not only that, the way he just showed, he fucking cut that moon in half. Like, that was crazy, bro. Like, when I saw that, bro, I'm like, yeah. People can't, there's no way people are going to say these characters aren't planetary level, you know? Though he in the end just misinterpreted Hamura's words. Ishiki is a lot more calm than the other Otsutsuki. In comparison, when he enters Konoha, he politely asks for Kawaki's location from some of the local Jonin and is even polite to Delta after she kicks all of his food off the table and destroys <laughs> it. The only time we really see I saw a, a meme like that. It was fucking... Like, they're just in there chilling, right? I don't know what's going to mind you. I haven't seen Boruto, but just I, it came up somehow, and I'm looking on my phone, and she just, like, straight up just destroys that table and everything. And I'm like, bro, if that was me, I would be like, oh, hell. <laughs> and he just simply just puts it back on the table, you know? Like, oh, it's okay. <laughs> like, fucking oh, perfectly illustrated, to be honest. This is cool. 
is like when something really, really, really inconveniences him, like Boruto finding out he can't kill him, or, or Kawaki hiding when he's literally minutes away from dying. Hagoromo obviously isn't perfect, he seems to give it to his emotions a lot less, I mean for the majority of the manga he's either neutral faced or smiling, never given an expression of anger or anything like that. I don't know much about Hamura since the manga does a poor job of showing him, along with Indra and Ashura, but I mean Indra and Ashura literally hated each other so much they kept reincarnating for thousands of years yeah. to fight each other, so they're off the table. Even with Hagoromo being the progenitor of Ultra Instinct, I don't think he should have it completely mastered, especially due to the things I mentioned earlier. Hagoromo is definitely not fully in control of his emotions, so how strong is he? How long can he keep the technique active? Quantifying the boost of Ultra Instinct Omen is something we have to dive back into Dragon Ball for a bit to look at. No. So, I was over here expecting like, what Naruto can, can be able to do, yada yada, it's not, but nah, he's like, he is going really in detail for this video about basically the concept of ultra instinct how it can be how is it established who more likely has it x y and z you know variable after variable it's interesting i i i'm liking it i was expecting a different direction but it's interesting while ultra instinct isn't a super saiyan transformation we can directly compare it to the super saiyan forms in terms of quality of an amp i don't know what it is guys super saiyan 3 you guys might hate me on this. That is always to this day been my, one of my favorite transformations. I don't know what it is, bro. Like, it, I love it, bro. That Super Saiyan 3 just, it hits a certain way. I'll never forget, though, when he went Super Saiyan 3. I, it was either in a movie or an episode. I can't remember. Um, and he fucking charges Beerus. And Beerus just, like, what, flicks him away or just swats him like a fly? And I was like, bro, no. <laughs> They're disrespecting Super Saiyan 3, no. Because, like... There's times where Vegeta or Goku be just going Super Saiyan 1 and they're doing some crazy shit and feats, clearly indicating they're getting more powerful and powerful. So, um, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I wish there would be some type of comeback for Super Saiyan 3 or something, or if they were to do something with it, because it's, it's an awesome ability. The baby. You sleeping? Seeing as the person we see the technique use fights the same opponent in both forms, that being Goku vs. Jiren, Goku vs. Moro, and Goku vs. Granola. In his first encounter with Jiren, we see Super Saiyan Blue Goku shooting a ton of key blasts directly at Jiren's head or torso, and Jiren being completely unmoved and undamaged by these attacks. Super Saiyan Blue should be well over a 400 times amp as a low ball. Seeing as Super Saiyan 1 is a 50 times amp to your base power, Super Saiyan 2 is a 2 times amp to Super Saiyan 1. And Super Saiyan 3 is a 4 times amp to Super Saiyan 2. You do the math, that adds up to a 400 times amp of your base form power. Super Saiyan 3 Goku was getting absolutely bullied by yeah. Beerus, while Super Saiyan God Goku was putting up a much better fight against a less holding back Beerus, uh -huh. and Blue being the Super Saiyan form of a Super Saiyan God. There are some statements I've seen people use to try and quantify the amp of Super Saiyan Blue, claiming it's as much as maybe even a 40,000 times amp to your Eesh. base form. I don't want to comment on these directly because as far as I can tell, at best these statements are debatable and don't actually yeah. lead to any one probable conclusion, so we'll keep it at a low ball of massively over 400 hundred times now thinking about it am i am i capping is it possible for goku to go super saiyan god but in three instead of just like the the first or you know look or whatever like because all i'm getting from that is that's super saiyan one just stacked on top of super saiyan god if you feel me so why does he ever just go three with that with the blue you know and all that and then imagine what kyle kenneth bro like am i missing something here <laughs> like that'd be pretty that'd be pretty big deal but this is the best quantifiable number you can get. But he got Ultra, Ultra Instinct. Goku so. completely obliterates any sort of performance that Blue Goku did against Jiren. Yep. Not only forcing Absolutely. Jiren to somewhat take the fight seriously, but being able to tank punches from him head on and forcing Jiren to get chatty, which is out of character for him, showing he's somewhat frustrated. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I'm. I'll have to. I might even do a reaction on the fights to be, or that just that arc, in in particular. It was such an incredible fucking arc. Like, that shit was so great. That was when I was in Colorado, and I remember just watching and chilling it and watching it. It was on my Xbox, I think, and just I was blown away of how great it was. It was so cool. This is all just the omen part of this form, allowing Goku to make this much progress. Goku even stacking Kaioken on top of Blue 
could yep. not get these same results. And as we know, Goku's Got Kaioken bodied. can go as far up to 20 times. So multiplying that by the amount of 400. That man went Super Saiyan Blue God with times 20 Kaioken. And Jiren just, I think he only looked at him and just destroyed him. <laughs> I was like, bro, this man is ridiculous. Thousand times amp to base form in the lowest stage of Ultra Instinct only. If you want even more evidence of this imp, Master Roshi, who's having trouble with some of the lower tier pride troopers, starts using a ripoff bootleg version of Ultra Instinct Omen and is able to start outperforming Kaioken Blue Goku and do better at dodging Jiren. Although, I suppose you could question if Jiren is using the same amount of power on both opponents, but that's just wow. basic skepticism. I don't remember that in the anime. Was that a different, different thing? Huh. And this scene is clearly supposed to be showing how good of a tool Ultra Instinct can be by having this seemingly weak contestant use it to somewhat press the big bad of the arc with a wacky variant. Obviously, Mastered Ultra Instinct is much more powerful than this form of the technique, so I don't even think at this Love point ads. it's Here they come. out of the question to call the strongest. Swiffer Wedge at Wood is specially made to safely clean wood floors. Try Wedge at Wood. Is UI Omen a 15,000 times amp and MUI a 30 to 40,000 times amp? Although these numbers aren't concrete, just me spitballing. I'll be honest, yeah. I'm just kind of just going with what six is saying, but like, to be honest, fuck the numbers, bro. Like, at the end of the day, we, we all should at least know the clear indication that this is way beyond Super Saiyan God at this point, or even with Kaioken. It's not, it's not a, you know, rocket science. Um, but. It's interesting when people, like, if people are going to go through the numbers or calcs or all that shit or whatever, like, you got to, you know, have some statements or have some form of actual evidence to really prove it. You know what I mean? I'm not saying six is lying or whatever this and that. I'm just saying I don't really like the whole numbers and all this and why this is stronger and because it's just, it's very, like he was saying back before, debatable at times, depending on how you're approaching it and you name it. And unless you have an actual, like, definitive, like, for instance, like, what he was showing in the beginning, the creator of Dragon Ball Z, where he was clearly showing like how much Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3 amplify the person. That is, you know, a lot more better to go off on. Instead of just, you know, not really having anything and kind of just tr using whatever you have as, you know, evidence. And then going from there and formulating numbers and you name it and yada yada. Like, so, but overall, it, it's fine. With UI being a technique and not a form, you can apply these amps to Hagoromo in his strongest form, that being his prime at the Tentosian Cherokee, and say he'd be anywhere between 8,000 times to 15,000 times stronger. God exactly damn. what level this would boost into is virtually- So that's why he was doing the numbers, okay. The unknown. Although, if he had this in his fight with Kaguya or the Tentails, his brother Hamura would have been completely unnecessary, and if he went on to give all of his power to Ashura, the whole rivalry of Indra and Ashura would have never began because because Ashura would have spanked Indra around whilst being thousands of times stronger than him and in the Uchiha clan before it ever began. So this is most definitely the timeline that Toby Roma and Danzo wish they were in. So as to not yeah. break the story in half though, let's just say Hagoromo got it sometime during the thousand years or so that he was traveling through the Pure Lands as a chakra ghost watching over the reincarnates of his son. This allows for him to have the technique while having no impact on the main story and Ultra Instinct isn't a power that you can just hand down, it has to be taught. So there is nothing like he decided to give it to a random Indra variant and it became part of the Uchiha clan or something weird like that. As for the question of how long Hagoromo can maintain the form, I don't think this is all too relevant seeing as he won't be using it to fight considering he has yeah. no opponents to fight in his ghost form. Obviously one of the characters that needs to get a run in with this technique is the main character himself. Naruto, Naruto yeah. and due to what I mentioned about Baryon mode, I think Naruto is one of the people that would likely master this technique if he ever got a hold of it. The main issue is what's the best place to introduce an Ultra Instinct Naruto into the series. It can't I'd be say Boruto. One. Naruto is way too immature for a technique like this. It can't be during the Great. beginning of Shippuden. Naruto is still giving himself. Yeah, no, he still has so much to learn. And... At this point, it would have to be some time after the Pain Arc or after his encounter with Sasuke at the Kage Summit. This is the time we really see Naruto maturing, and even after his encounter. Mm. Yeah, but if we give this guy like a god tier transformation like that at that point, it, yo. This motherfucker, he basically just bodies everyone at this point, you know, like that should be crazy. Um, I feel like that's something 
an ability that would be pretty cool to give it to him after he either loses to nine tails or during like Boruto, which is like something he can, he has like a new transformation separate from Sage mode and it has nothing to do with the nine tails. You know what I mean? Cause that's something that's always the most interesting concept of Naruto is the fact that he eventually did get powerful on his own trained and he even learned another very powerful transformation that was separate from the power of the nine tails and which was Sage mode, you know? So it's like, I don't know. I feel like either Boruto timeline or after he loses it, he should be given it. Um, I don't think... If you give this man Ultra Instinct with fucking Sage Mode and Nine Tails power and all that and everything, bro, he's just... And Magic and Six Pat, like... No. Nah, like, bro, Naruto just takes a fat freaking dookie on everybody then. Like, that would just make it... The story, there would be no story, Okay. <laughs> With Sasuke, Kakashi comments how Naruto has seemingly let everything go after having a conversation and fight with Sasuke, which is also stated by Naruto to have given him his answer on what to do regarding Sasuke. He's just a much more calm person at this point, although I think having Hagoromo come down and teach Naruto Ultra Instinct at this <laughs> point in time would be almost equivalent to giving one reincarnate power again like he's trying not to do it this time. So it's much better if we just give Naruto the idea of it in the war arc during his conversation with Hagoromo. And for the sake of being fair, we'll have to also say Sasuke gets the idea from Hagoromo here as well. And from here, they can both try to tap into it whatever times they want to. I think Naruto trying to do a technique like Ultra Instinct, whilst using something that gives him precognition or a greater sense of awareness like Sage Mode, would help out significantly. Naruto's body is already alert to danger in Sage Mode. Yeah. So if he can just... Like, go, yeah, Sage Mode, threat perception, attack and capacity enhanced well beyond the ordinary ah that's a really uh good statement though because i remember there was like a i think yeah it was a debate between swag and noodles and noodles was really having the audacity to say that sage doesn't like amp you when it comes to like power and speed and all that when literally that statement right there says the threat perception and attack capacity are enhanced well well beyond the ordinary like it's there's so many indications that clearly show that it's a massive amp but <sighs> whatever uh, fucking um but yeah so i was just uh, i remember i remember i brought up that moment for a reason because i remember swag was like can someone tell me like the statements are like where it is actual you know like a thing that says what it can do and blah blah because you know he didn't remember exactly shit i wouldn't have even known if i was caught in that moment it's just that's the type of thing you would anyone would normally just common sense you know so why would we even have to but you know how all that goes so oh yeah sage mill would fucking ultra bro GG. Try to move with it. He could probably tap into you. I love my ads. The UI Omen. Obviously, if he uses Sage Mode to aid him, though, he's not going to be able to use the boost from his Shadow Clones. He's able to get to learn a Jutsu quicker. So quantifying the amount of time it would take Naruto to learn this Jutsu is nearly impossible. And if I'm being completely honest, and although Naruto is fairly good at Taijutsu, that has never been his main method of attack. No. So it's like he'd never be super godly at mastering a taijutsu technique but with the added help of sage mode and the information oh i just thought of something ultra instinct with the gates mm. that'd be pretty cool bro like the only see the problem with the gates though is it does so much damage to the body though you know like so like you got to either have enough durability like aka goku or fucking you know or some type of healing ninjutsu or something that basically regenerates all your damage That'd be pretty dope. Gates with the Ultra Instinct. Siri, I think it's fair to say Naruto could maybe pull off UI Omen in around half a year like Goku, or maybe upwards of a year or possibly two years. If Kishimoto were to write it, I see the latter being a lot more possible. Because Kishimoto doesn't like to use a lot of time on My time. My boy Kishimoto. Training. Naruto and Boruto have a very fast paced nature. For example, the entirety of the war arc happens over the course of two to three days, and in it, Naruto powers up numerous times without even having to train. If you take this seriously and say Hokage Naruto had UI Omen, honestly the manga may have gone a bit differently depending on where you place it. So if Naruto gets it at the beginning of the manga, Momoshiki and Kenshiki get made short work of and Boruto never gets a karma. Delta gets beaten up again, it's yeah. easier this time. <laughs> So not much changed there, and Jigen would probably get beaten up. But if Naruto actually killed Jigen and Ishiki came out, he might lose again due to the toll this form takes on the True. body, as well as the amp maybe not 
putting him at Ishiki's level anyway. If you've seen Seth's video on Baryon mode and agree with his reasoning for why Baryon mode is upwards of a billion times of an amp, if you take the nuclear fusion quote from Kurama seriously. What the fuck? Seth. <laughs> you telling me, mind you, I haven't seen that video yet because once again, I haven't seen Boruto. So until I watch Boruto, which like fucking, there's going to be a YouTube video I'm going to be releasing after this one. And it's fucking hilarious. It's only going to be maybe like 10 minutes long, maybe 20 minutes max. Um, but it's like a, a four minute video of just literally comparing Naruto and Boruto and why Boruto is just ass. <laughs> like, um, but and it's so comical. It's so funny. But like, holy shit. Like this man did literally brought up nuclear fission, all this shit, whatever, like science itself, bringing it into Naruto. And it is actually saying that it's that much of a like, holy fuck. <laughs> like that that's the that's the, the the interesting part about it is when it comes to people like seth or other people that are along like similar calibers or you know or ways of how they basically scale characters and whatnot you know when i scale characters and etc i normally do it based on the facts the abilities and what they can do i'm not really getting into all the numbers and this and that and yada yada that's not really my my uh, cup of tea um but I keep it simple. Very easy for people to kind of understand if that makes any sense. While this guy, Seth, he takes it to a whole other fucking degree. And basically, just from that statement alone, like, holy... <laughs> what? It, what? Is Baron mode, like, just stronger than uh, Ultra Instinct now? Like, the fuck? <laughs> like, holy shit. Like, that's crazy. Then the calc amp we have of maybe 15,000 times isn't going to do much for Naruto to take on Ishiki. Sasuke even unlocking UI or Omen seems just sort of unlikely to me. I don't think he would be able to pull it off. Not saying Sasuke isn't smart or anything, just the technique definitely doesn't suit his style of fighting. And Sasuke has never done anything indicative of hiding his emotions or being able to hide his emotions. It's even implied before they fight Ishiki that Sasuke is scared and has to somewhat prepare himself to take on someone of that caliber. The other two people I picked for this, and you guys can let me know if I missed anyone on this, is Kakashi and Guy. Kakashi is actually someone I can see unlocking UI Omen. Yeah, same. Given the right tool. It's like this man mastered the shotty gun. You ain't gonna tell me he couldn't do something like that. Would have implied Kakashi He's a genius. is numb to his feelings due to losing everyone he cares about. Like he tells Sasuke towards yep. the end of part one. And obviously I put Guy here just because he's a Taijutsu master and he would definitely try to obtain what would definitely be the best Taijutsu technique in the series. But could he actually do it? I'll leave that up to you guys as sort of a closing question for the video. As always, if you like the video, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. And if you want me to talk about any other techniques coming in Naruto, like maybe Titan shifting or something weird like that from another anime, just leave it in the comments down below. Or maybe you want me to talk about something from Naruto going to Dragon Ball or whatever it may be. Just no. leave it in there. But yeah, that's all. Have a nice day. You didn't even answer the question. What the f <laughs> no bro no fucking way let me see that again Naruto, like oh Naruto this Naruto man is a fool weird like that, i right? love and the man, humor him mean, and swag and seth have bro this shit gets me every time down below or maybe you want me to talk about something from naruto going to dragon ball or whatever it may be who's this guy <laughs> the, the the black guy with the glasses who is that fucking guy i don't know any of these people in the background Oh, I know that guy. And I, not those two, though, but... um, Wait, is there an Among Us guy back? Bruh. <laughs> Just leave it down there, but yeah, that's all. Have a nice day. You didn't even answer the question. What the... Six age, I don't know, Lava was sentenced to five minute... in prison by Judge Drock. He is now probably making a sandwich right now. I don't know. Oh my fucking god. Okay. <laughs> well, it was an incredible video, so we're going to leave a like. Very much deserved. As always, guys, if you enjoy that type of content, make sure to check him out. You don't, you know, I don't do a reaction video on every single one of his videos, so if you guys do enjoy that, make sure to go to his channel, 
check out all his videos, comment, like, subscribe, you name it, um, and uh, help the brother out. Um, but holy shit, that was that was a funny video. Very hilarious, entertaining, interesting. Learned a lot, to be honest. Um, yeah, and that's basically what you get for Ultra Instinct Naruto. So I did kind of like how he approached it, how he basically made it of how it could be established in the Naruto series and as a concept as a whole. And then kind of like went a little bit in depth with the power scaling of it as well, of how it can amp a character, you know, and what it can do. Because um, understanding what it can make you able to do is fine, but the power, that's interesting. So I like how he kind of went into that as well. Um, and then overall, like, it's pretty cool. Like, look at that picture right there. Ultra interesting Naruto, bro. Imagine if this man had to look like that. Like, that shit would be so fucking fire. Like, that'd be like on the level of like the fourth Hokage when he puts on the damn, you know, um, Hokage outfit and it's like, I'll be back. Um, so, but yeah, no, 10 out of 10 video. Awesome, incredible job. Um, we're going to leave it there, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video and my reaction, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe for more content, subscribe if you guys love the channel. As always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Smile.